Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. The Planet Ocean line was launched in 2005. Omega launched the modern generation of Planet Oceans with the 8500 based calibers and ceramic bezels in 2011. The watch you see here, the Seamaster Planet Ocean GMT, bowed at Basel World 2013 and it was the debut of this 43.5mm case size that later became general. On my 16cm circumference wrist, the stainless steel Planet Ocean GMT wears quite well. You can see 43.5mm is a large watch. It qualifies as oversized, and you can see the timepiece exceptionally thick as well at 17.6 millimeters, has an imposing stance on the wrist. What it does not have is an unreasonable span across the wrist. As I measure it at 49.5 millimeters, and I can actually endorse this watch for a wrist as small as 14 and a half centimeters circumference. Now you can see it from head on to good effect, and the spacing between the lugs is 21 millimeters, so you can accessorize. There are quite a few options in the Omega catalog. I'm a big fan of the strap that's fitted, which is a handsome matte finish, black vulcanized rubber with a molted center spline to give it volume and body. You can see that there are slots on the side featuring a contrasting stitch in the Planet Ocean Signature Orange. Very comfortable, but also very durable. This is not a gummy strap. This is not silicone. This is the real thing, rubber. You can see the clasp, all of stainless steel, polished and satin finish, twin trigger release for security, and of course this is a time-tested Omega mechanism, and it simply removes all excess length while obviating the need for minder loops. It's very clean. Everything is hidden under the clasp body when it is fully sized and buckled to suit. Jumping back to the case, you know it well, Omega Seamaster, and for that matter, Speedmaster watches have used this case for over 50 years. Satin flanks, which are vertical, longitudinal satin finish, polished and flaring, lyre style lugs. There's a little bit of a countersink to the crown, so providing a bit of sheer guard, and you can see that the Omega logo, nicely polished and relieved against a blasted base, and that's just the crown. Attention to detail rife here, you can see in between the raised and polished facets of the knurling of the bezel, there are actually satin finished elements in between. The recesses are all of satin for contrast. The bezel is a GMT style bezel, so 24 hours bi-directional, sometimes known as a pilot's bezel. Liquid metal inlays for the numerals and indices, and you can see that it's a ceramic insert, so very scratch resistant. The dial is all in gloss. White gold hands, white gold indices, all applique on a gloss black lacquer base. This was just before the ceramic bezels arrived, and you can see there's a lot going on. There's a 24 hour hand, local hours, minutes, seconds. The watch does feature hack seconds. It features a GMT functionality that allows you to set that local hour hand independently. You pull the crown out, everything stops. Hacking or stop seconds mode. Now you can move everything in sync. And if you use the bezel, if you actually do set that 24 hour hand to Greenwich Mean Time, you can use the bezel to temporarily judge a third time zone. Screw down the crown. The watch does feature the helium escape valve and 600 meter diving depth, even though because of the bezel, it is not a true dive watch by ISO spec. Nevertheless, dives just as deep as as a standard Planet Ocean. The watch with caliber 8605 twin mainspring barrels, and you can see them, we'll get a little bit closer here, you can see them poking out from under their barrel bridge. 60 hour power reserve as a result, the twin barrels producing a very even torque release and preventing the 24 hour drop off of amplitude that's common on most movements. The balance free sprung with a full bridge, very secure against shock. You can see Omega via the swatch group extended with its own proprietary shock protection. SI14 silicon hairspring, highly anti-magnetic, bi-directional winding, coaxial escapement, and a COS certified Swiss chronometer. There's a lot of tech inside this case. The movement featuring bi-directional winding and a handsome execution of the movement, though mechanically finished, handsomely designed and mechanically finished, with spiral arabesque Cote de Genève and blackened screws. You can see to good effect there is an engine turning on the base plate below the balance, and if you look closely you can see the tri-level coaxial, which is the latest variant, the most technologically advanced, the most accurate, and the toughest. This is a watch that does it all. A GMT, a hardcore aquatic sports watch, a handsome everyday stainless steel office companion, and of course from a grand brand like Omega, serviceable forever. See it and make it yours on the watch box. The Planet Ocean GMT, as you can see, differential loom color for the dial features, as well as the pearl of the bezel and the minute hand of the dial.